In the world of football, alongside stars who are like angels with constant smiles like Kaka or Ronaldinho, there are still players who are so tough that they intimidate their opponents. Don't be surprised if any position in this lineup is ready to tear you apart on the field. They represent a dark energy that every club needs. Just looking at these players' demeanor can make opponents tremble with fear. So, what happens if a team gathers 11 such guys? I fear it would be difficult for them to leave the field without receiving a red card in every match. Goalkeeper position. It's not hard to name the legend Oliver Kahn. When it comes to fierceness in the goal, many might think of goal-scoring keeper Jose Luis Chile Vert or the giant of Man United and Denmark Peter Schmeichel, but the most memorable legendary goalkeeper is Oliver Kahn. Mentioning Germany's legendary goalkeeper is to recall the golden ball of the 2002 World Cup and countless other glories with Bayern Munich. Besides his superb goalkeeping skills, what makes Oliver Kahn unforgettable is his leadership quality. Kahn could easily inspire his teammates' fighting spirit because, above all, he was always a warrior. Fans even played with his name, creating the term Volcano, meaning volcano, hinting at Khan's fiery nature. Tall, with a face that looked like a professional killer. Many strikers admitted they trembled just seeing Khan and shot wide. Right back position Sergio Ramos. Please don't question why, because until Jose Mourinho moved him to the center, Ramos was still a right back. Speaking of the toughness of Real Madrid's captain, very few dare say they surpass him. With a body full of tattoos, Ramos looks like a warrior. But that appearance isn't just for show. Ramos has always been a controversial figure in world football. Haters say he plays dirty, fans say he plays cunningly. But it must be admitted that Ramos's tricks brought much glory to Real Madrid. A prime example is the shoulder lock he gave Salah in the 2018 Champions League final, leading to Real's third consecutive title. On the opposite side is Ryan Shawcross, who is also a center back but can play as a full back. This veteran player's achievements are just as impressive. In 2010, he broke Arsenal's Aaron Ramsey's leg. Although he cried seeing his opponent in pain, a week later he told the press he wouldn't change his style. Whenever I play for Stoke, I fight with all my might, and this will continue to be my style. After returning to play, I've regained my top form. The fans and those around me have helped me a lot these days. And indeed, Shawcross kept his word. Even the notorious dirty player Diego Costa had to give up against Shawcross's elbows and heel kicks. Remember, this defender captained Stoke City for a long time, a club known for its rough play in the EPL. In the center of the defense, we have Marco Materazzi and Pepe. During his 10 years at Inter Milan, Marco Materazzi became a defensive icon. He wasn't fast or exceptionally skilled at tackling, but top strikers in Serie A like Shevchenko, Inzaghi, and Ibra all fell victim to the former Italian defender. One of Materazzi's most famous tricks was pinching. When closing in on an opponent, he would subtly pinch them, making it impossible for the striker to concentrate on finishing. If desperate, he would kick his opponent's ankle. As for Pepe, though he has calmed down a lot recently, no one forgets his days under Mourinho. In the numerous El Clasicos of 2012, people still remember Pepe discreetly stepping on Messi's hand. As Messi rolled in pain, the cold expression on Real Madrid's center back was described by the Catalan press as a self-portrait of a cold-blooded killer. But the world of football had given Pepe the nickname Butcher long before that. Going back to April 2009 during a Madrid derby against Getafe, in the final minutes, Javier Cascaro had a chance against Casillas when Pepe stormed in like a whirlwind. First he pushed Cascaro down, then purposefully kicked him repeatedly. When Cascaro's teammates intervened, Pepe called them dogs. The red card was just the beginning of worse things to come. The 10-match ban shocked fans, but more shocking was the violent image Pepe created, reminiscent of an MMA fight. In midfield, no one fits the defensive midfielder role better than Nigel de Jong. His track record of harming others is the most extensive in this lineup. In 2010, he broke American player Stuart Holden's leg before the World Cup. 
at that year's World Cup in South Africa, he kicked Zabi Alonso in the chest in the final. Then in 2012, the enforcer born in 84 broke Ben Arfa's leg. De Jong's brutality was so extreme that the Dutch national team coach banned him from the team out of fear. Next to De Jong is Roy Keane, a highly controversial Manchester United legend. In September 1997, MU lost 0-1 to Leeds United. Holland, then a Leeds defender, criticized Keane for faking an injury after a clash. Keane held a grudge and vowed revenge. After Holland moved to Manchester City, Keane targeted him in a 2001 Manchester derby. In a non-ball situation, Keane lunged and kicked Holland's knee, earning a red card. Before leaving the pitch, Keane insulted Holland, behaving like a street thug. The last midfielder is Gattuso. Known for his hot temper, Gattuso would engage in fierce tackles, shout at teammates and opponents, and often argue with referees. His aggressive nature led to many controversial moments, from choking Tottenham's assistant coach, slapping Beckham during an Italy-England friendly, to slapping his own coach Marcello Lippi at the 2006 World Cup. In 2003, Gattuso's fame peaked when he became the center of a prank on Italian TV. The show arranged for dogs to mess with Gattuso's car while he was dining at a restaurant. In response, the Milan midfielder chased and kicked the valet before being restrained by his teammates. In the forward line, the first name that comes to mind is Diego Costa. The match against Arsenal revealed his true nature. He first hit Arsenal's Laurent Koskelny in the face with both hands. With no reaction from referee Mike Dean, he continued to slap his opponent. When Gabriel stepped in to defend Koscielny, Costa choked him. The marks on Gabriel's neck showed the force of Costa's grip. In the second half, Costa deliberately kicked Chamberlain. In a match against Liverpool, he stamped on Emre Can and Martin Skrtel. His numerous elbowing incidents are countless. Partnering Costa is Luis Suarez. Despite being praised for becoming nicer since moving to Spain, trickery is in his blood. Recently against Chelsea in the Champions League, he played dirty with Rudiger. In the second half, Suarez pinched Rudiger's thigh during a duel, angering the Chelsea player. When they argued, Suarez pushed Rudiger. His infamous biting incidents are well known. First at Ajax, then Liverpool, and finally with the Uruguay national team. Suarez is like a vampire, even being nicknamed the Cannibal. The final name is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. If you know he once fractured a player's skull in the MLS, you wouldn't dare mess with Ibra. He doesn't hesitate to make harsh tackles if opponents play dirty. Growing up in a Swedish slum, which he admitted was one of the worst places in the world, it's no surprise that Ibra mastered all dirty tricks.